Lovely. Halland. Halland! Oh man, that didn't look like phenomenal finishing, did it? What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at a training guide for a phenomenal finishing Halland, right? So, I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks. I know a lot of people have already probably spun him. I know some people are waiting for this video, so apologies it's a bit late, but we did actually get him in the live stream. You can go back and watch the live stream. It was from last Thursday. I will be streaming as well tomorrow the 9th of March and we will be playing a bit more with Halland if he's up on form, right? So obviously if you are going to be spinning him, you might spin him tonight before the maintenance, before he's gone for good. Um, I don't know will he be coming back, but we are getting new cards tomorrow. I've played a lot of, of a lot of games with Halland, right? I played a big live stream with him. I played a couple of matches as well, just testing him out. Playing a lot of like friendly matches, testing him out just to get clips and stuff. And really just give him, you know, put him through his paces, right? So I think if you are going to be spinning him as kind of like a last ditch effort tonight when you're watching this video, it's very hard for me to recommend him. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, if you are going to be spinning for him, you're obviously not staying free to play. Um, we did obviously open him up with donations that we got from the live stream. So appreciate anyone that did donate. But is he worth it? Is he worth spinning? Is he game changing? Is he going to be somebody that like wins you games? I think my personal review of him, as we look at a couple of reviews, I think I've learned a lot from playing with him, right? So firstly, I think, you know, at the moment, a lot of the center forwards, the game still favors very mobile, versatile center forwards like Romario and Mbappe. Haaland gets on a lot of ball, right? He gets in a lot of good positions, but I kind of found with the version that I leveled up, he does bang in goals for you, but it's all about where you give him the ball, right? So obviously the first thing you need to know about these cards, if you haven't been, you know, keeping up to date with stuff, is the reason why Haaland has kind of caused a bit of a stir is because of this new player skill, right? Phenomenal finishing. So this basically is defined in the game as an increase to the power and accuracy of finishing shots attempted from an orthodox body position. So you saw a couple of them there in the clip uh, where he catches it on the, on the volley. We'll have a couple of more coming up here as well. So it seems to be that they have a couple of different animations that doesn't really matter depending on your body position anymore with these cards, right? Now you'll still get a good lot of bang for your buck with Haaland. He's still a very dangerous center forward. If he gets chances in around the box, he's going to put him in, right? But I've learned a lot from playing with Haaland and I've learned a lot of kind of a few mistakes I've made with training him up myself. Not much. I can obviously, I still have the best version that I think is out there. I just would have made maybe one or two stat changes. So this is what you want from Haaland, right? Look at his runs, right? Stays in front of the center half. I know it's only Juan Basaka, but he's a monster as well. But it's a brilliant header from Haaland. And this is what he's all about, man. And I do think that it does depend on how you train him up. Some people just can't play with Haaland at all. And the reason for that is because of his balance stat, right? His balance, his tight possession, his ball control. So we have three versions of him here. The first one is pretty much just the complete... Like, when you get the ball at his feet, kind of Adriano Pez 6 style center forward. You know, you've got 96 finishing, 94 speed, 96 kick power, 96 physical contact. You've pumped everything up into lower body strength and aerial strength. 94 speed is huge. And obviously, you're going to have that stamina up as well, right? That's the first version of him. I would say that that's just your traditional center forward, your slow center forward. Pay no heed really to his speed because the acceleration is what you really need. The next version of him is kind of the flip side of that. So his overall is only going to go to a 94, but you've got maxed out dribbling, maxed out dexterity and nothing else, right? 87 finishing is enough for most players, right? If you're a good player, you will get away with like 82, 83 finishing. But the fact that he has got all the player skills that you could possibly need, first time shot, phenomenal finishing, which is the new one, obviously unique to these cards, acrobatic finishing, long range shooting, rising shots. He pretty much has every shooting stat and ability and player skill that you could possibly want. You can pause these videos, lads, if you want to see the player guides. And in the third version of him is the version I actually went with. And I think, you know, the definitive best version of Haaland. Yes, it does depend on your play style. Yes, it does depend on how you play and your tactics. But I think you've got dribbling here. We've put a lot into uh, dexterity to get his offensive awareness and balance up as high as we possibly can. 89 speed, 82 acceleration, 89 finishing. So we get a little boost to the finishing. We get a big boost to the offensive awareness. The kick of power, the physical contact is still there. And we also get a couple of aerial strength boost as well for the heading, right? You don't need to worry too much about the in-aerial stuff because he has all the player skills for heading, as you'll see here in a second, right? So this is kind of most of the areas that you're going to be using Haaland. Peeling into the box, 
getting into the back post, getting across the front post, staying in front of the defender. He has got excellent AI for staying in front of defenders, but you have to give him the ball fairly quick. He's also able to bring the play into it. Like you can see that for a pass. He has got no passing ability, no passing stats. He's still able to hit a lovely pass here. Bit of a mess, a mess up here at the back. And we do get the finish with the chest shot control. So yeah, look, my kind of feeling on Haaland is there are centre forwards that are very like him. Is he a game changer? I think it's going to be remains to be seen as time goes on. But if you are thinking of spinning for him, he is obviously going to be a monster. He does go to 100 overall with the playstyle boost. But do I recommend spinning? That is up to you. I think I've uh, kind of given three good versions of him here. I think the last version of him, the 96 rated version of him, is the best. That is where I would go with him. You've got everything that you could possibly want. And he will be an unbelievable super for sub for you. So that's it. Just a quick video. A lot of people were asking me about this. I did cover Haaland in an earlier video as well. If you guys didn't check that out, check it out. But this is kind of more hands-on time and the definitive version of what I think is the best Haaland. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Peace.